In today's DIY project, you'll need writ dye, a mason jar, Mod Podge, a plastic bowl, and a brush of your choice. First, you'll want to take your Mod Podge and put it into a plastic container or bowl or whatever you prefer. I'm using just a regular throwaway plastic bowl. My, I'm almost out of Mod Podge, so it's taking me a little bit. But now we're shaking up our writ dye and we are going to shake it up real good. We're just going to eyeball it and pour it into our mixture of Mod Podge. So I'm just eyeballing it here and you can sort of work with it however you want. I'm really just flexible and just trying it out. I'm using a regular um, painting brush today. I wanted to give a little bit more texture instead of using a foam brush. So I changed my mind really quickly and I'm just mixing this all together. I actually decided to use just a little bit more Mod Podge because I want a lighter color. So uh, you can just work with that as you please and whatever you want. Now I'm just gonna take some Mod Podge uh, with the writ dye mixture and pour it, not pour it, I'm going to take it and paint the inside of my mason jar. So what we're going to be doing here is staining the writ dye with the staining the mason jar with the writ dye because I want it to have like a nice look. This is a perfect for like Christmas time, really whatever you want. I just wanted to have a tinted mason jar because I thought that would be really neat and what the main objective here is to make it even so after you've got it even um there's a little lip where th there's a lot of paint that gets under on your mason jar and that's why I'm taking some and putting it onto the paper now I after doing that I figured out that you can paint paper like this is really ch inexpensive paper that you can this is cardstock actually and I'm painting it and it gives it such nice texture with the foam brush the Mod Podge and the Rip dye so this is what it looks like after this and you can see it coming together I did this with two different brushes and I'm just heat drying it now and it's looking so nice like literally the Mod Podge makes it look feel so nice now this is our finished DIY project. You have a nice mason jar tinted you know, with using one bottle, not even a bottle of cherry writ dye. And here's what your paper looks like. I hope you enjoyed today's DIY project. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. And don't forget to check out Rit Dye at www.ritdye.com. And you can see two different colors of the Rit Dye and the Mod Podge I made. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day. Oh man, I'm really just dancing with her at die now. Wow. This is a little embarrassing. I think I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.